Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the Damn Vulnerable Web App Unrestricted File Upload Vulnerability on the low and medium security settings. Unrestricted file uploads allow the user to upload backdoors which give us unauthorized access to a system providing remote control on the device. Damn Vulnerable Web App is written in PHP, so we need to find a PHP backdoor script on GitHub. I included a repository with a bunch of backdoors you guys can use. I'm going to be using the AK47 backdoor. So once you have this open, you can just go ahead and scroll down here. And there's a bunch of these lists here. So I'm going to be using this one. And you just want to go ahead and download the raw file. So now you want to go to browse. And then you want to go to where you downloaded it. And then you just want to click upload. So you can see it provided a link of where it uploaded it. So let's say it didn't provide a link, let's say you were doing a penetration test, you can use tools such as Durbuster or GoBuster to locate the uploads directory, right? So let's go ahead and go here, so I'm just going to paste this in here. And you can see that we do have a PHP backdoor. So we can do file manager and we can go ahead and walk through um, the file system, right? And we can execute commands, so we can say who am I? ls loss and it even gives us a nice php info page so let's go back to damn vulnerable web app and now let's try it on the medium settings so we're gonna submit i'm gonna go back to upload make sure it's still on medium sometimes it glitches out and now let's try the same thing so we're gonna just try to upload the same file here and it says your image was not uploaded. It said warning, cannot modify header information. Header headers already sent. And some errors, I guess. So let's go ahead and let's click the view source down here. Let's expand it. So you can see it's checking um, the upload type and the file size. So it grabs the size here and it grabs the upload type, which is essentially the MIME type. MIME types are determined by the files extensions the ma or the magic number or both. The magic number is just like a specified a couple of bytes in the start of a file to signify what file type it is. So actually, if I can pull this up here. So I'm going to print out the hexadecimal content of my image file here, and I'm going to say, hey, only show me the first couple of lines. So you can see that there's this .png embedded in this image here in these first four bytes right here called the magic number signify that this is a png file so when we do the same thing on our backdoor file you can see that there's no magic bytes right this isn't dot php this is actually the the source code it doesn't say hey this is a php file it doesn't signify it like this one does so to, so to determine the mind type the script is then going to use the file extension so what if we say hey this isn't a php file this is actually a JPEG file. It's not going to have the same magic bytes as the PNG file. Oh, whoops, let me pipe that to head. You can see it still is the same, but when the source is looking at this file, it's going to look at the end of this extension and say, hey, this is a JPEG file, and that's how it's going to determine the MIME type, because this doesn't have any magic bytes. Close out of this. Oh, whoops. <laughs> browse and then same thing you can see .jpg and we're going to upload and you can see it works so we're going to let's go to it and there we go we have access once again so i hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys have anything you guys want me to look at please let me know